welcome friends here with we are discussing about the aromatic hydrocarbon chapters of semester 1 under inorganic and organic chemistry friends up to your last lecture we learn about the what is meant by aromatic hydrocarbons the hackels rule for aromaticity nomenclature of the aromatic system monosubstituted benzene disubstituted and polysubstituted benzene then we learn about the discovery of the benzene and the structure and finally we learn for a different preparations the preparation methods we learn from an phenol molecules second methods we learn from an acetylene third method we learn from a sodium salt of benzoic acid that is a sodium benzoate and fourth method is from benzene sulfonic acid now we move towards the next part that is reactions which are the different reactions occur over the benzene molecule for that purpose we look everyone know about the structure of the benzene and as per the structure of the benzene we are going to perform even of the reaction that is electrophilic aromatic substitution look this one electrophilic aromatic substitution we are looking for the reaction of aromatic compound no problem substitution we will know we are going to substitute that is one will be get replaced by an another is called as a substitution then what is mean by electrophilic electrophilic you know have no we learn electrophile electrophile is a atom which is having less electron density we call as electropositive it has also have in the positive charge it can take the electron from others this is known as electrophile and such type of electrophiles we are going to substitute over a aromatic how by replacing one of the hydrogen from a benzene ring let this is a loop the structure this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 six carbon atom the hydrogens are attached here and this blue color circular ring is of pi bond okay and all of you know the pi bond will be formed by the hybridization in which there is a overlap of p orbitals and the shape of p orbital is a dumbbell so these dumbbell shape p orbitals are get overlap above the sigma bond as well as below the sigma bond because the lobes are above and as well as below so this is pi bond and this pi bond is having the more electron density 
they are having the more electron density so this electron density is given to the electron deficient species and electron deficient species is your electrophile so we say as this electrophile it is electron deficient it is denoted by e and plus charge the pi bond gives the electron and give as the give the electron there is a formation of a sigma bond between and carbon and the electrophile and carbon and the electrophile therefore this complex is known as a sigma complex this complex is known as a sigma complex and the base is the requirement to perform this reaction the base is again take the hydrogen atom because as the electron will be given it is uh, ele become electron deficient so the sigma complex is shown with a positive charge and to stabilize this we can remove one hydrogen the hydrogen will be removed by abstracting by a base and as it will be removed again there is a fulfillment of the pi bond and the hydrogen present over the benzene is replaced by an electrophile is replaced by an electrophile therefore it is called as electrophilic aromatic substitution now in electrophilic substitution reaction how we define it we simply define this a chemical reaction in which the functional group is attached what i said the functional group is attached to a compound and this functional group is replaced by an electron this is replaced by an electron in this example the electrophile is a hydrogen electrophile is a hydrogen so uh, sorry so electrophile is going to replace to a hydrogen that hydrogen is act as a functional group hydrogen will be act as a functional group and when you look the mechanism the mechanism general mechanism is there which is carried out in a three different step the first step is a electrophile generation what i said we get a electrophile electrophile is a positive charge species or we say electron deficient species and it will be generated first then there is a formation of carbocation carbocation it is intermediate carbon which is having the positive charge is called as a carbocation as second step is a carbocation formation this intermediate will be there which is happen when a aromatic ring gives electron to electrophile and the last step is the removal of proton from the intermediate step that means we say there is a removal of h plus is there remove of h plus okay all 
the three step are gives the formation of electron deficient species because if you adding electron deficient the removal must be a electron deficient is there now look the general mechanism we look uh, the first step electrophile generation later on we we'll discuss the two steps step second and the step third first the step one electrophile there are different electrophiles so we'll look later on this is the general mechanism which is happen for each and every electrophile how are, how it is as we get an electrophile what i say as you get an electrophile this electrophile gives a sigma bond complex as i have told earlier the pi electron system that is double bonds present in the benzene ring they are electron rich and they give the electron to the electron deficient electrophile then what happened this double bond is present between these two carbon atom if the bond will be break it takes the two electron both electron and give to the electrophile so what happen at one carbon atom the electrophile will be get attached while the second carbon atom there is a formation of electron deficiency that is carbocation formation that is called as a carbocation formation okay this is the carbocation and this carbocation is a having different resonating structures this double bond we can form here and the positive charge will be stable get stabilized and newly form the cation at this carbon atom similarly we can show formation of double bond here to stabilize positive charge and carbocation will be formed here these are the different resonating structures of sigma complex and this intermediate is known as a arenium ions what i said this is called as arenium ions electro positive charge is present and it is circulated over the ion then after formation of a sigma complex there is a third step will be there that is a aromatization because due to this electron donation from the aromatic ring it loses aromatic character because it does not going to obey hackel's rule and aromatic compounds are stable as compared to non aromatic due to that to maintain the stable aromatic character that is stability we have to again convert into the aromatic compound so one of the hydrogen is removed and always the hydrogen present on the carbon atom where the electrophile will be attached is removed and it's abstracted by this and gives formation of aromatic compound the base is taken the or base will be abstract the hydrogen and such there is a substitution of hydrogen will be takes place by an electrophile and we get a your final product this is a very simple general mechanism 
of aromatic electrophilic substitutions now we learn the different electrophiles for our syllabus we have to comment or we have to learn about the nitration reaction then halogenation reaction sulfonation reaction friedel craft alkylation reaction and friedel craft acylation all are the examples of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions now we we'll learn one by one first we'll look for the halogenation halogenation the simple is we have to substitute hydrogen by halogen and if you are going to substitute by a halogen then it is known as a halogenation reaction this reactions of substitution of halogen which is carried in presence of lewis acid like pf3 fecl3 febr3 zncl2 all these are examples of lewis acids the electrophiles in this reaction is a halonium ion because that is a cation of halogen what i say cation of halogens that is x plus and uh, already uh, we learn about the hydrogen chemistry h plus and x plus they are belongs to the somewhat similar they having the similar reactivity then why the reaction is carried out in presence of lewis acids why we have to use the alcl3 why we have to use the bf3 molecules or why we are going to use a fbr3 molecules this lewis acids plays important role that is polarization that is polarization polarize means separate the charge some positive charge and negative charge or to create a difference between these charges it's called as a polarization and this going to polarize the both halogens that is if you have the halogens like x and x because halogens are dibasic they are always uh, written as x2 so this bond present between the two halogens what i say the bond present between these two halogens will be get polarized and due to that one have the delta positive charge while the second is having the delta negative charge out and due to that there is a formation of a your electrophile and this electrophile is known as the x plus it is will be denoted as a x plus now look the first halogenation reaction is of bromination how the bromination will be carried out for that purpose we are taking the br2 as a reagent bromination it is a strong electrophile then the catalyst will be 
a PBR. Catalyst will be a, a PBR. This is a Lewis acid catalyst. Now, what happened? If you take an BR2 and APBR3, as earlier I have told, the APBR3 creates a charges, polarized the bond. The BR is having the electrons, unpaired electrons. This electron will be taken by iron Fe. And due to that, it becomes an electron deficient from the new bond. Now there are only four electron unpaired. That is two pair of electrons. Hence it becomes deficient. And as it is become a deficient, then it can give easily formation of your electrophile. This electrophile will be attacked in step second by electron rich benzene pi electrons. And as it is give the electron to this Br, this bond present between Br and Br, which is already polarized by a Lewis catalyst, easily break. The process is very slow and as it is going to break, it gives formation of sigma complex. This sigma complex, we have shown the resonating structure for this one. These are the resonating structures. Okay, and here we got the positive charge. And this in step third, there is an elimination of proton to stabilize the structure or to stabilize the to, or to regain the aromaticity. This APBR4 which is eliminated it uh, takes the hydrogen and uh, proton will be get removed out and it gives formation of APBR3 that is Lewis catalyst will be generated and HBR will be formed. Now, the catalyst role is very important. Catalyst is increase the rate of reaction or facilitate the reaction. APBR3 will be added and it will be regenerated at the end of the reactions. This is a simple role of an your catalyst. Similar with the bromination's we can learn about the iodination, chlorination and look for the fluorination. Simply as the reaction is there, this is the energy profile diagram. The rate of the reactions first is the slow one, it goes to the transition state, then this intermediate sigma complex again second transition state will be occurred and gives the formation of the product. Now how the fluorination and iodination will be occurred? Where the fluorination reaction is not done over a benzene molecule because it is too violent and due to that fluorination will be not carried out. Second thing, the fluorine is more electronegative atom and due to that, second thing, the breakage or polarization of fluorine-fluorine bond not takes place easily. Therefore, the fluorination reaction is too violent. But we can do the chlorination. For that purpose, we use the AlCl3 or APCL3 as a Lewis catalyst or use zinc chloride also, no matter. How this uh, gives the formation of Cl plus? The chlorine act as a Lewis base and APCL3 act as a Lewis acid. And therefore, Lewis acid uh, is a strike a lone pair while the Lewis base donate a lone pair. It's the definition of Lewis acid and base. 
the compound or a molecule which accepts the lone pair is known as Lewis acid and which is going to donate a lone pair is known as Lewis base. Now we get a molecule which is called as a complex and this complex is a positive charge over the chlorine atom and this uh, gives the formation of the chloronium ion. We get the chloronium ion. Now, if you look for the iodine, iodine is somewhat unreactive, but in presence of uh, H plus uh, and nitric acids, the half molecule of the iodine will be going to give the formation of I plus, that is a electrophile is there. Now, next is a nitration reaction. Now, the nitration of the benzene is going to done by using the nitronium ion as an electrophile. The nitronium ion is nothing but the NO2 plus. Now, nitrogen is having the positive charge. And this nitronium ion is generated by using a mixture that is nitric acid and sulfuric acid. The nitrating mixture is going to give the formation of nitronium ion. How this is? A simple first a sulfuric acid this is the structure of sulfuric acid H2SO4. Now sulfur is having the oxidation state how much? If you are going to calculate then we got it is having the plus 6 will be there. Now this acid is going to act as Lewis acid. Why? This act as Lewis base. This abstract proton of your sulfuric acid HNO3 it is a nitric acid and all of you know as the nitric acid is there it can easily abstract a proton from the sulfuric acid So, it gives formation of intermediate that is HOH. Now, oxygen has given an electron, therefore, it is having plus charge. Now, HSO4 minus will be formed there. Now, this H2O plus will be removed by a negative charge present over the oxygen atom. Now this is the negative charge. Then NO2 already it is having the positive charge is here. What I say? This is already having the positive charge and here is a negative charge. And now this negative charge or electron rich species gives the electron and H2O plus it is stabilized therefore it is removed out by neutral outer molecules and there is a formation of NO2 plus is a electrophile and all of you are familiar about the second step as we got the electrophile the second step is there attack of electrophile or attack sorry attack on electrophile by a aromatic ring and third step is the your removal of proton to give the final nitrobenzene this is the simple thing will be happen in the nitration of benzene the third reaction is an sulfonation the sulfonation which 
a reaction in which the sulfonic acid group which is attached to the aromatic ring by using the concentrated sulfuric acid the reaction sometimes will be carried out by using the sulfur trioxide so3 in fuming sulfuric acid is known as a oleum this oleum will be act as a electrophile actually benzene is uh, going to react very slowly with sulfuric acid and gives benzene sulfonic acid and the two molecules of sulfuric acid uh, is going to react to form an electrophile now look the how this uh, oleum that is so3 is uh, going to give the formation of the reactions this is a so3 molecule s o3 sulfur is in plus 6 oxidation state we can also show as positive and negative charges that is the resonating structures for each oxygen atom now here we got the positive charge that is means it is a electrophile electron deficient in nature and uh, so the aromatic ring having electron rich pi electron this can donate the electron to the electron deficient sulfur and uh, gives this electron to electron rich oxygen atom electron negative oxygen atom so we got a formation of this is a sigma complex and the sigma complex again it's remove the proton to give the benzene sulfonic acid is there this is the simple reactions of electrophilic substitutions that is halogenation nitration and sulfonation in addition with that there are another new reactions which are going to discuss in the next lecture thank you